Uh, Alex, we're going to start a new a new thing this year. Speaking of great. Speaking of great. Yes. That's good. Yep. Speaking yep. of great. We're going to do the top five BVPs. And you might be saying, Ben, <laughs> what's a BVP? And that'd be a great question. Yeah, tell great, me. Great, great, great question. Uh, to play on an MVP, okay. which you might know, hmm. most valuable player. But yeah, never BVPs, <laughs> Ben's valuable players. And there's going to be five. It's the top five. And we're going to do it every week. Okay. And I'm going to combine both leagues. So it's going to be one MVP award. It doesn't matter what league you're in. Top five. And obviously, look. It's early in the year, yeah. right? But we're going to do it all year long. So at the end, it might not look exactly what it's going to look like in week one. But the top five players in the BVP voting, if you will, yeah. as of right now, top five players in the league. We'll start with number five, Will Smith, mm -hmm. catcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers, batting 421 right now, three homers and 10 RBI to start the year. Will Smith has said, I've heard a lot of talk lately about Adley becoming the best catcher in baseball already. Let's pump the brakes on that a little bit. <laughs> I'm still here. JT Real Muto's still over there. He might not be talking about him. He's talking about himself, but he should be. Yeah. Uh, he's still one of, if not the best catcher in the game of baseball, and he's off to a great start. He's at number five for me. He is. His three home runs are tied for second most in Major League Baseball right now, which, again, but it's only it's only opening week, but the Dodgers need him. They need him to produce. They really, especially they, they this year. They really do. So it's yep. it, it's a great start to the season for Will Smith. Yep. Uh, at number four on my list, mm -hmm. Wander Franco. Mm. Batting 417, two homers, seven RBIs, two stolen bases. And and to me, he's the, he's the key to this Rays offense. We know the Rays are going to pitch. They are, their pitching is lights out as we have seen so far. But Wander Franco came up as the top prospect in the game of baseball and due to injuries and playing pretty well, but never like elite elite, he hasn't exactly been living up to the height that everybody thought he could. Mind you, he's still extremely young. He's still barely old enough to drink legally. And now he seems to be coming into that player that we all believed he could. Um, and, and the Rays need him to be that guy because their lineup isn't full of star power. But, you know, switch hitting, shortstop, doing what he's doing so far, this is the guy that we all expected to see, and, and he's now arrived. Yeah, no, and he's, he's off to a great start. He's one of only five players in Major League Baseball with multiple steals and multiple home runs, which is what you want pretty to good. see right out of the gates. Pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. Uh, number three for me, Glaber Torres, New York Yankees. Man, <laughs> Glaber has been off to a tear, mm -hmm. batting 421. Two homers, six RBI, five stolen yes. bases to start the year. Glaber Torres has turned into Ricky Henderson with these bigger bases. I mean, <laughs> and these new these new rules. Not to mention, he's Ricky Henderson's on the speed side of things. He's turned into some combination of Barry Bonds and Ricky Henderson. That's the kind of player he's been to start the year. Off to an absolute tear. Two homers, six RBIs, five stolen bases. Glaber has been Glaber's been the guy in that Yankees lineup, and that's. You know, Aaron Judge is still doing Aaron Judge things, has a couple of home runs himself, but the key to this Yankees offense so far has been Glaber Torres. Which is great with an already stacked, as you mentioned, the guys, stacked lineup. Yankees yeah. need it. Man. If they're going to surpass, who do you have, the Jays in that number one spot? I have the, the Jays as, as winning that division, but yeah. the Yankees are the Yankees are a playoff team no matter how you look at it but you're yeah. you're absolutely right if they get this kind of year out of yeah. Glaber Torres now this kind of he's not going to hit 421 the entire year but if they get like Production. 300 plus Glaber Torres with 40 yeah. homers and 100 stolen bases like what yeah I mean yeah, come on great. Um, but this is the Glaber Torres that was the top prospect in in baseball coming when I was when I was playing in the minors I was playing he he got traded over from the Cubs mm -hmm. and he um he got traded right around the time that um, I was playing against the Tampa Yankees. And I remember the name coming over and I played against him in the minor leagues. And he's one of the few players I played against that was like, yep, I, I see it. I, I yeah, see yeah, it yeah. very clearly. And that's just a lot of guys I played against become major leaguers, but not a lot of them stand out as like, this guy was traded over as a top prospect mm -hmm. and he's going to be a big leaguer. And at the time he was like 18 years old and it's like, okay, well maybe sometime else. No, you, no. you could tell right then. So um, he's in number three, number two, Shohei Otani. That's right. He's here at number two. 
had two great starts on the mound, two quality starts on the mound, one win. He's got 12 innings, 18 strikeouts on the mound, a 0.75 ERA. Nasty. At the plate, 286, two home runs, six RBI. He's doing exactly what we would have expected Shohei Otani to do entering the season. And honestly, the one win on the mound came courtesy of himself driving in that added run. Nastiness everywhere you look. Shohei is is a superstar and already already doing things that put him in the MVP conversation. Though the MVP conversation hasn't started. So he's already <laughs> in the BVP conversation. <laughs> and tied for second most strikeouts in Major League Baseball with 18. I'm always I'm a little surprised you don't have him at number one. I can't. I can't have him at number one Tell this me first why. week, Alex. And the reason being because Brian Reynolds is existing, hitting 417 with Oof. four home runs. Brian Reynolds is on pace for 108 home runs. All right. How do I not put him at number one? On pace for 108 homers, seven RBIs already, a stolen base. But Brian Reynolds has gone out as, look, this offseason was pretty tricky one for Brian Reynolds. You know, he, he requested a trade. He didn't get that trade and then ends up in the in the thick of things with his with his contract and he's going to be a pirate and has really showed out for them. And this is what you want when you're when you're talking about locking up a superstar player and Brian Reynolds and then he comes out and hits 417 to start the year with four home runs and seven RBI. This is exactly what you want to see. There's nobody else right now that could be number one. And um, there's a decent chance as of look. We're already a week into the year. There's a decent chance Brian Reynolds hits 100 homers this year and breaks the all-time record. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.